Parental advisory. It means I say shit. I do what I want. Now watch this video. This year is known as my time. 14 to 15 year mine. This is my life as I live with my cat and me. What you got to give. So sit and explore my life. While I walk through life with strife. What's up everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, for those of you who watched the last couple of videos, you know that the reason I haven't made a vlog in the last few days or last week or so is because I've been a little upset. I've been a little in a weird place because losing that job after putting so much effort into it, along with all the other things that you guys have seen me go through, it's just, it's just demoralizing. It's just... It takes a lot out of me. However, I just got a phone call for an interview tomorrow. Yay! Um, so that, 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 that takes a lot of stress off. Oh man, such a fucking release. Oh. Now of course just because I have an interview doesn't mean I have a job, but if history tells me anything, the majority of the time if I have an interview I have a job. So I'm gonna go into this with that confidence and go into this with that frame of mind that this job is mine. If I'm here talking to you, that means that I got the job. And if I go into that with that kind of frame of mind, then more times than not, I go in there with a confident attitude and they see that and they see the experience that I have. And I generally get the job. And if you guys haven't noticed, oh, well, I forgot to take those down, but Bam! I spent all last night um, basically going through all my stuff and figuring out what I want to keep and what I, what I, this is, this is how I went, went to it. Everything that I, because I'm moving at the end of the month, right, so I need to limit the amount of stuff that I have. So what I did is I went through it this way. All the stuff that I have that I haven't thought of or needed within the last two years garbage. So, you guys know I had a whole crap load of stuff in here, a whole bunch of boxes and everything, a big huge ass bin with all my shit in it, another big ass bin with a bunch of shit in it, I had this whole closet just completely filled to the brim with crap, and I had stuff all over my walls, I had all this stuff here, took down all the pictures and everything which left blotches, I don't know if you guys can make that out, but the light stained the walls after two years and left these patches and the tape fucking took off the paint which is kind of bad I wasn't expecting that to happen because I used shitty ass dollar store tape I didn't think it would do that but that's all I have left <laughs> I basically broke everything down into this lo one little fucking bin And uh, I basically made it so that everything that I have, I need, I cherish, or I simply can't get rid of because of, you know, having value to me, like childhood stuff. I, I got rid of pr practically everything I have prior 1998. Um, the only thing I have for my childhood now are pictures. Uh, a couple pictures of me some letters and shit like that, you know, when you send people back in the old days when we actually had to send letters to people. Oh, I want to show you guys all the stuff that I threw out. <laughs> I went through a whole bag, of, a whole package of garbage bags. So, check this out. So I guess first things first is that I had a bunch of stuff like uh, TV stands and a bunch of little knickknacks and stuff that I really didn't feel like getting rid of. Oh, there's garbage bags out here now. But, uh, you know, I got rid of my computer or this little TV stand that I had, a keyboard. I had my skates out here yesterday, but somebody took those and my winter jacket. That's a $250 winter jacket, so if nobody takes that, they're missing out. That thing's good uh, out in West Coast weather. 
where it's like minus 30, 40 at the average. So here's that big ass bin that I had. Along with all these fucking boxes and shit that I emptied out. All garbage now. This is a sign I used to have when I lived in my rooming house. Degenerate crackheads. Yeah. That was my favorite sign. So yeah, I got rid of that. Feels good to finally get rid of this thing. This thing has more air miles on it than most people get in their fucking lifetime. This thing has been on one side of the country to the other at least 10 times already. This thing has fucking miles on it. And uh, there's bags there. Let's see. Yeah, it's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Oh, and Sky's chair. So, yeah, it's 14 bags of stuff I threw out yesterday. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of things I've been carrying with me over the years that for, for one reason or another I just never got rid of and when I moved here I remember telling you guys when I moved into this place all I had was a backpack full of clothes I didn't have anything else that was it my mom had everything else including my cat and when I got this place she shipped everything over to me um, and since then you know I've gathered bought and got all that stuff but you know, now that I'm moving out again, I need to look at this stuff logically and think, you know, do I need this stuff? Do I, is it necessary for me to have? I mean, I threw out, I've thrown out things yesterday that I've been holding on to for over 20 years. And I went through it, like, like I had over 10 years worth of statements and papers and applications and forms and all this other, sh like three or four of those bags, it's just paper. It's just fucking letters and shit. And, uh, you know, there's no point to having all that. I mean, grant you, it's good for filing purposes, but for someone like me who's constantly on the go and constantly moving and constantly struggling, having stuff like that to carry around is just, it's just stupid. It's illogical. It doesn't make any sense. So, so I got all that rid of. It's a little difficult to get rid of that stuff. Uh, some of that stuff I, like, uh, in the bathroom I had my hockey jacket, uh, my very first sports uh, sports jacket and it's from my first year of ever playing hockey and I threw that out too. You know, there, there's no point in having it. It's not like I can wear it I and mean, it's good for sentimental value but in the end, you know, it's just taking up space and uh, not needed. But, you know, I made a decision last night to put my best foot forward and stop letting all this bullshit bother me and, and start trying to look at the positive things and move on from there. And I think that frame of mind tonight produced this interview for me. Because uh, it doesn't it didn't look like I was gonna get a call. It didn't look like there's many opportunities for me, but you know, I, I think putting myself in that frame of mind helped alter my reality in, in a way, in a sense. I know that sounds like a bunch of hooey, but you know, perception is key. And if you perceive everything is going badly, chances are things are going to go badly. And if you put your best foot forward and start looking at things positively, as much as this fucking hurts me to say, that's actually true and it does have an effect. My mother's been preaching that shit to me for years and all these years I've been telling her to shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. Best foot forward. Let's move on. So there you have it, folks. I just wanted to give you that quick little update on what's been going on because I, I said I was going to be making a lot more vlogs and I lost my job and I, I kind of kind of got a little depressed and angry and, and was in a really bad place for a few days. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, 
if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that life just has that way of just digging it in, you know, just, it, it just, it, I don't, I, I, I angered the karma gods and this life is my punishment. That's what I used to say growing up. Growing up, that's, that was my motto growing up. I angered the karma gods, this life is my punishment. Um, but life just has that way of just, just, yeah. And when I hear other people saying, oh, you have no right to complain, you can only blame yourself, and blah, 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 shut the fuck up, all right? I am so sick and tired of people saying that to me, that you have nobody to blame but yourself. Really? My whole life is my fault? <laughs> I can understand if it was one fuck up here and one fuck up there and lost a job here or every once in a while something bad happens. You know, I can understand that. Then that generally would be my fault. But when it's every fucking thing that happens in my life, everything that goes on almost a day-to-day -day basis, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. It kind of takes the onus off of me then. Even though there are actions and, and things that I could do better and hindsight's 2020, blah, 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 but, you know, there's only so much I can personally do myself. And I've been making a really, the last few years since I gave up all the drugs and all the partying and started focusing on doing things right, life became really difficult. It is amazing how much easier life is when you don't give a fuck about you, you don't give a fuck about yourself, don't give a fuck about your family, don't give a fuck about anything besides just just medicating and drowning out all the fucking world and everything around you. Life is so much easier and the ability to, to connect with other people in that type of lifestyle is amazing. You get so many fucking friends and so many circles of, and networks and it's just, it's unbelievable. But when you give that all up, you're left with nothing. And I've been picking up the pieces since. But, you know, it's, since I gave up this stuff, I've, I've made a decent effort to put my best foot forward and to make my mother proud of me and to finally start doing things right. And it's just been getting more difficult and more difficult. Um, but I have a lot of people to support me. I have a lot of people who are there for me. I have a lot of people who are willing to sit down and talk to me, whether online or in person, and help me work out these issues and these problems. Because um, it's, it's a constant basis. It's a, it's a constant struggle for me, but the interview tomorrow, this gives me a light that I can move forward towards and with me finally making my first step in this move, I think I'm finally ready to get things going again. So I will make a best attempt to make more vlogs. Uh, my computer had a blue screen of death the other day, which means that it's almost done. Um, it could pop out at any moment now, so fingers crossed that my computer lasts long enough for me to get another one. Um, if anybody wants to help me out with that, that <laughs> would be greatly appreciated. But of course, that's something I, I kind of have to do on my own, but uh, I'll never refuse help, so. Well, that being said, folks, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're enjoying the nice heat waves that are going around the planet right now due to the active sunspots that are blasting us with gamma radiation right now. Uh, for those of you who are wondering why you've got a second or third degree sunburn while having sunblock on, that's why. Enjoy the sun, folks. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Stay strong, stay wise, you wankers. Peace.